Good morning and welcome to Build. This is the next big step forward, which is a full coding agent built right into GitHub, taking Copilot from being a pair programmer to a peer programmer. You know, here I am uh, with all the bugs that I have or issues that I have to deal with in uh, GitHub issues. Uh, the first one is adding a filter uh, for user group size community page. Let's go take a look at this issue. Um, it's nice. It, they say, like, I've got to go put some new filter up here. It also shows me where. Uh, I guess it needs to do a range, small, medium, large, uh, by size or some kind of a percentile. Um, it's like some kind of a group by case when type of thing. So anyway, so let's do the thing that is easiest for me, which is assign it to my new buddy, Copilot. So I'm going to assign it. And um, there you go. Let's go and see. Uh, let me scroll down. Uh, ah, it's picked it up. It sees me. It creates a PR. And uh, you know, you see that nice eye emoji? It sort of knows that I'm here, and it's sort of going on to work. And we'll come back and check it out later, right? It's just so fun, right, to be able to go take care of issues like that, like email triage assigned to Copilot. It's not often that I get the chance to check on Satya's work. So let's take a look at the issue that he assigned earlier. Do you remember it? To add that group size filter to the site? Let's take a look at it. And Copilot was able to open up a pull request to start implementing these changes. Let's take a look at the PR. Copilot was able to add the group size filter property it was able to add the logic for Redis caching, and it also added some testing with instructions. Now, it's also deployed the app to our staging environment. So let's take a look at the deployment. Fingers crossed. And you can see the group size filter was added. Today, we are introducing a new class of enterprise-grade agents you can build using models fine-tuned on your company's data, workflows, and style. We call it Copilot Tuning. This app is my five-in-one hub for work. It's got chat, search, agents, notebooks, and create. And here, I can call on agents, like the researcher agent. Researcher can reason over all my work data. And with a connector, it can even tap into GitHub. So let's ask for help analyzing performance issues and prioritizing my next steps. It goes ahead and it asks me a few clarifying questions, just like if I delegated this to someone on my team. I'll give it a bit more direction, and off it goes. Now let me show you how I built this connector in Visual Studio. I'll go ahead and add a name and a place to save it. And in seconds, the M365 Agents Toolkit gave me fully scaffolded code that I can modify, like creating my connection using the Microsoft Graph APIs. And then I can index any type of data. So here, I've defined a specific schema for my scenario. Next up, I'm using the GitHub API to fetch my issues. And finally, I'll ingest every issue into Microsoft Graph so Copilot can now reason over this data. Let's see it all in action. I see that all of my issues are being indexed, and I'm getting a full log of what's happening. As the log loads, I'll scroll up and confirm that my GitHub connection was made and that it has all the backlog items that I care about. So here you can see that we have a specific proposal that has the content, language, and format that you'd expect, for example, from an experienced employee. Here I've described what I want the agent to do, and I've given it some instructions. Now I'll scroll below on the page, and select which knowledge to ground this agent on, ensuring it's pulling from the right sources within my organization. We'll keep scrolling on to the Tools section, and I've added this trigger that prompts my agent to begin working whenever a new RFP arrives in my inbox. So now, let's link this agent to the Dynamics MCP server to give it access to SKU and pricing data, and this will make for a more detailed proposal. So with just a few clicks, it's now connected. This server will keep the agent up to date automatically. It can also use third-party servers like DocuSign or custom MCP servers like this SAP one we created to access customer account data. So now let's move to Copilot Tuning, which Satya just announced. 
And here's what it looks like in action. I'll open the contract builder agent and ask it to draft a contract using a couple of example documents. It's going to reference these documents and the custom model I created to assemble the contract. When the document is complete, I'll receive an email with the draft. Let's take a look at it. I see that this contract is using our company's language, terms and conditions, structure, and format. And here's how I built it. I'll start by creating a new model. I'll give it some basic information, a name, a description, and I'll select the task type, which in this case is document generation. Here we'll use our contract database from SharePoint. And I'll specify who should have access. So it's the contracts team and the procurement team. With that, our contract builder is now ready for data labeling. Now, once the subject matter experts have completed the data labeling process, we can complete the training for this fine-tuned model, and we're done. And from the M365 Copilot app, the team can select Create Agent, select a task-specific agent, and select the contract builder model I just fine-tuned. And with that, the agent is ready. I've now scaled the work that I can deliver as a developer, empowering those closest to the business to reimagine their workflows with AI. This is Vibe Travel, a chat-based app that uses Azure AI Foundry to provide an AI travel agent to help people plan their trips. I'm planning a trip to New Zealand in about eight months, so I asked Vibe for places to ski. Hmm. This math isn't mathing. I'm pretty sure eight months from now is January 2026. We definitely need to make our AI agents smarter and give more grounded responses. We can do this by giving it, giving it files with reference data or connections to other services like Microsoft Fabric or TripAdvisor. In addition to giving it access to knowledge, we also give it access to our flight reservation API. Now, let's go back to our app and try our query again. In about eight months, it's January 2026, which is the summer season. No skiing possible. Now, let's have the agent actually book a flight on my behalf. Now, these flights look great. You just saw how Foundry made it easy to improve our agent, but there's still plenty of work to do in the actual code. Let's open Copilot Agent Mode, which is new, by the way. And I can choose between the most popular and the most powerful models from all the major LLM providers. Agent mode takes GitHub Copilot beyond just answering questions or suggesting code to actually helping me do the work. I can come in here and I can ask, can you show me the issues that are assigned to me in this repository? Traditionally, I would have opened the browser to look at the issues on github.com, but with MCP or Model Context Protocol, this allows you to give tools like GitHub Copilot the context and capabilities it needs to help you. Now, when I click this reset button in the app, it immediately clears our chat session without a warning. That's not ideal. And I can ask GitHub Copilot to help me implement the details for issue number one and also fetch the details for issue number one. I also have this beautiful design. It's pretty sweet, wouldn't you say? <laughs> Let me add this to the context window and send the prompt. You can see the GitHub MCP server fetch the details, and with Agent Mode's new vision capabilities, it means that Copilot can even understand the sketches of what I want. Copilot Agent Mode was able to examine the proposed changes, look for relevant files to change, make the changes as appropriate, and it even stuck to the styles and coding standards that I wanted it to. When I go back to the app, it was able to implement the UI changes that my boss wanted. Let me see if it's running. Is it keep? As you can see, folks, this is live. I don't have time to debug, but once I click this issue, I'm pretty sure it's implemented. Uh, Copilot was able to add the modal in our app, and that's two issues that we worked on in a handful of minutes. Thank you, GitHub Copilot and Azure AI Foundry. But there's one more domain that I want to talk about to close out, which is science. We'll have real breakthroughs in the scientific process itself, uh, which will really accelerate our ability to create you know, a new material, a new compound, a new molecule. 
Uh, that's our ambition with Microsoft Discovery, which we are announcing today. I'll show you how I lead a team of agents to make a discovery for immersion coolants. These are an interesting line of research for cooling data centers. Unfortunately, most of them are based on PFAS, or forever chemicals, which are harmful for the environment. My first step is to conduct research. So I want to be up to date with the latest knowledge on this topic. So I'll start by asking about coolants and their properties to help me identify starting candidates. And what we see here is a summary on the left and a comprehensive report on the right covering the state of the art in coolant research with links throughout to citations for trusted research. Now, I can validate these findings and iterate if I choose before moving on, but we want to make a real coolant discovery. So we need to move on to step two, which is generating hypotheses. I am going to ask for a plan specific to my investigation informed by this research knowing, for example, that I should target a specific boiling point and a dielectric constant that won't fry my electronics. Now, you see, I didn't specify what methods to use or write any code. The agents can use tools and models from Microsoft. They can integrate open source or third-party solutions or even ones from my own organization. And if we look right here, we can see the plan that my agents returned. It starts with a generative chemistry step here, where it creates millions of novel candidates that are more likely to meet my criteria. And then it uses AI models to screen these down quickly. And finally, we use HPC simulations for validation of our findings. We click proceed right there. And with that, we're in step three, experimentation. We can see here now the discovery agents working together in real time, driving all of these intense computations. With traditional methods, getting to a short list of candidates could take months or years of trial and error. Microsoft Discovery can compress the time to days or even hours. So let me show you the final results of the process. These are the set of candidates that Microsoft Discovery has identified for PFAS-free immersion coolants. But I know what you're wondering. Did we actually make a discovery? Well, this is not just a demo. We really did this. We took one of the most promising candidates and synthesized it. They didn't let me bring a new material unknown to humans onto this stage, but I've got this video from the lab. So we can see there my coolant, and we dropped a standard PC in it, and it's running Forza Motorsport. And it is keeping the temperature stable with no fans. It's literally very cool. We found a promising candidate for an immersion coolant that does not rely on forever chemicals. Imagine using Microsoft Discovery across domains, designing new therapeutics, new semiconductors, or new materials. It worked for us. The next great breakthrough is yours to discover. Thank you. Have a great build.